If you like messing about with antennas, you may wonder why you would need an antenna analyzer. After all, you've got a SWR meter built into your radio, or you've got an external SWR meter. That's all you need. Why would I need an antenna analyzer? Well, let me show you some of the things that the rig expert can do, and then decide whether or not this is for you. You may be surprised, or well, you may not be. Let's take a look. I want to calculate how much cable I've got left on this coax reel. So let me show you how I do it. Going closer. Now, I'm going to press this and I'm going to ask it to calculate for me how much cable I've got left. And there we are. I've got the answer. Just one reason for owning or considering owning a rig expert. I've been using the rig expert for quite a few years and uh, this is my original one. It's quite large and clunky compared with the new one that uh, I've been asked to have a look at. Immediately you can see the advantage. <laughs> it's smaller and believe me it's got a better screen. So let's see what actually comes with the rig expert when you purchase it. The rig master is fitted with an end socket, which is why they supply you with an adapter there if you're going to use uh, PL259 plugs. The unit is powered with four AAA cells, but there's also a point there with the cable supplied plugs in there, and you can run it then off of 12 volts. And I tend to use this indoors with a uh, cable running off a 12 volt uh, external supply. I've got uh, a portable battery I'll run it off. It's got a very clear screen as you can see far better than the the old AA230. You can also change the colour of the display I've selected orange here as you can see. You can also invert the display so that you've got white on black which is quite handy if you've got a sight problem and uh, I find that quite uh, handy actually. And the keypad is the usual multifunction keypad that we're used to these days. One thing I want to show you on the panoramic display is how the amateur radio bands are marked as a slightly uh, lighter colour or shadow, depending on what, uh, how you set up the display. If we go from the right hand side, you've got the 10 metre band, then you've got the 27 meg megahertz CB band, you've got the 12 metre band, 15 metre band, 17 meter band, 20 meter band, 30 meter band, 40 meter band, 60 meter band, 80 meter band and 160 meter band. That's particularly useful. I can use the rig expert to check the frequency of a commercial trap or even check the frequency of a trap I want to make myself. This is a 21 megahertz trap so let's see how it checks out. We now scan it using the SWR scan. There's the 21 megahertz band in the center and you can see the little dip there. It's not too great but uh, we get a bigger dip if we tighten the uh, coupling. Oh there we are. You can see a much deeper dip now. Hope that's picked up on the camera okay. You can see that dip there just at the bottom of the 21 megahertz band. By the way, this twin terminal is not supplied with the kit. You need to purchase that, but you can purchase them for a few pounds. And using that, we can put a capacitor across those terminals or an inductor, and we can measure the inductance and the capacitance. And the result is shown on a screen which shows most of the parameters when you want to look at the result of a, a particular measurement. We can measure the performance of a ballon or a transformer. I've got a nine to one. Uh, transformer here which I've been experimenting with. Not particularly good results. Uh, you need to put a load across it um, to match the transformer. This uh, transformer has got a 450 ohm uh, resistor across it 
and we can just scan it and see what the uh, response is like. Let's take a look. Well, there we are. I've already scanned it actually. You can see it's not a particularly good result, but that's the way that you can test the performance of a transformer or a ballon. You can test the performance of uh, an antenna tuning unit, uh, either manual or automatic, although automatic you need an ATU that has latching relays. I'm just going to check this one out here on a bit of wire and then just check what the selectivity is like with this ATU. Well here you can see the result. It's quite selective actually so the ATU is tuned and also gives surprisingly good front end selectivity which is uh, one uh, thing that you need to consider when you're using an external antenna tuner and I guess the internal one will be very similar. Now let me see if I can show you how the zoom control um, works. I, if I press the zoom button, get it in focus on the camera, if I press the zoom button you can see how we can zoom in to the result which is why this uh, rig expert is called the zoom A2330. You can zoom in and take a closer look very quickly. Cable loss versus frequency is also a very interesting measurement that you can make. It's nice to know how much signal you're losing down your coax. When you first press the VSWR to measure VSWR on the meter, you'll get a flashing light. That means to say that the meter is actually continuously monitoring the VSWR, sweeping every uh, second or so. Press it again, then you'll get... Press the right button. If you press it again, you'll get a steady reading. So that's a, that's a steady reading. You press it again, we go back to... Uh, the SWR meter scanning all the time. So if you're making an adjustment, you can actually see the meter adjusting as you make the adjustment. Now this is a particularly interesting display. You can actually program the meter to read certain bands. They call it multi-reading. So you can actually set each of those lines to a different amateur radio band or different frequency. And then when you press the VSWR button, you'll get the VSWR on each band. It sweeps right through the spectrum. I've only programmed the 20 meter 14 megahertz band in here at the moment. You can see it's showing a good reading on 20 meters because that's programmed into it. The other, the other uh, frequency is just random at the moment. But you can imagine you can program in 20, 15, 10 or 80, 160, whatever you like. And you can get an instant VSWR on those bands. It's a particularly interesting feature. I want a quarter or half wave coax stub. I've plugged a random piece of coax in here, open-ended, and we'll see what the quarter wave and half wave resonant points are. And there we are, we get the result. It's that quick, and you can now adjust the coax length to reach the coax stub length that you want, uh, whether it be quarter wave or half wave. In fact, it's got a range of preset tools, as you can see on the screen here. So what else can the rig expert do? Well, you can get an app for it. It's got Bluetooth. The ones we stock have got Bluetooth uh, feature fitted. So you can connect it to a smartphone or a pad and remotely control it. It's also got a time domain, domain feature on it. And that allows you to find out where a fault may be along a coax line, which is quite handy. It's got memories. You can store the screenshots, effectively, that you take when you're doing some measurements. That's a handy feature as well. And uh, it's really great for all-round antenna experiments. If you're making phase-in lines or quarter-wave or half-wave stubs or whatever, um, it's great. You can check the velocity factor of your coax and as you saw you can measure the length of the coax which is actually quite handy particularly if it's on a reel and uh, it's generally a great instrument now there is a range of them it starts off at one which has got i think a range of uh, 0 to 35 or 100 kilohertz to 35 megahertz and they go up in steps so if you're an hf only enthusiast you might find that the the basic model is okay for you and uh, it's quite uh, competitively priced when you compare it with what else is on the market. 
You can go up. I, the one I've chosen, one of the most popular, is the AA230 because that goes through HF right up to two meters. And once you go above two meters, there's less and less sort of demand for an antenna analyzer because very often you're buying ready-made products anyway. But, you know, some people want to go up that higher, even higher. You can go up, I think, to 1.5 gigahertz. The product actually is made in Ukraine, which is quite interesting. It's been around for a long time. It stood the test of time. It's reliable. Um, I haven't really heard of any problems at all. And I think I'm going to change over from my old clunky AA230 to the AA230 Zoom because, well, it's got more on it. It does a lot more. It's got a much brighter screen and it's got some features which aren't on the original AA230. So, uh, yeah, I may well uh, change up to the uh, AA230 Zoom. If you're interested in antenna experimenting or building, it's really got to be a serious product you need to look at. I've enjoyed having a look at it. And there's still more features that I probably haven't covered. Um, and if you want to learn more about it, you can download the user manual. The user manual is on the internet. Just key in Rig Expert user manual and you'll find it comes up. Um, it's uh, quite a, an interesting product and very educational. All these sort of products are educational because you're learning things as you go along and you know you suddenly find a use for it you suddenly think wait a minute i could do this with it i could measure this with it and uh, i said many years ago that this sort of uh item turns hours into minutes in other words you can do so much so much faster than you could with just a VSWR meter and a bit of coax. And you, you know, sometimes you're wondering, you think, wondering, well, why is, isn't this working? Why isn't that working? This instrument probably could solve a lot of problems and you'd have great fun in the meantime. So that's my take on the Rig Expert. It's a great um, item of test equipment. There's a whole range of different ones you can buy depending on what your budget is and what your frequency range is. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been informative. I try to be informative. And in the meantime, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for supporting the video channel. Thanks for supporting the company. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. In the meantime, oh, by the way, I'm off uh, for a few days. I'll do some QRP operation and uh, I'll uh, report back once I've done that. I should be away for a few days, but uh, it's only for a few days and uh, be, a, be a nice break. Let's hope the radio conditions are okay. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? In the meantime, you enjoy ham radio, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.